Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. I got a tutorial request in my inbox today from James who wants to know how to show a second image on a hover in Squarespace 7.1. So I thought I'd go ahead and share this tutorial with the rest of you today. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the two images to the custom files section of our Squarespace website. Then we're gonna add some CSS code to create the image and then the image hover effect and then we're going to add a line of code on the page itself where we want that image to be. So three steps to this one today. I'll walk you through it step by super simple step, and I do have the codes to share with you as well. However, the one code that is actually going on the page of your site involves an angled carrot, and I can't include that in the description of a YouTube video. That's something YouTube won't allow. So I'll have a link in the description below that'll take you to a page on my site with all of these codes. So a little bit of a workaround for us today, but they will be listed on my website as soon as this tutorial goes live. So the link is in the description below. Just make sure you watch all the steps with me here so you know how to use those codes once you have them, okay? So let's hop into my demo site and take a look at how this works. So here we are in my demo site and we're gonna navigate to our custom CSS section. So we're gonna head over to design and then scroll all the way down to custom CSS. Now you'll notice something pretty cool here. At the very bottom, we have what's known as manage custom files. This particular button is gonna open up the section of our website where we can place the two images. So I've clicked on that button and I'm just gonna drag and drop them for my computer. I've got my first image here and then I will drag and drop the second image that I want to show up on the hover right underneath it. Following so far? Awesome. Now the next thing we need to do is paste a little bit of CSS code in here. So I've pasted this code and this basically uh, creates the image hover effect that we're going for. This first section here is where we need the URL for that first image we dropped. And then right here where it says second image URL is where we'll place the second image URL. So how do we do that? Now I'm gonna highlight over first image URL, making sure those single quotation marks stay where they are. I'll hit the backspace button, open up my manage custom files, and simply click on the image. Squarespace will put the URL for that image right there in my code for me. Pretty cool, right? Let's do that again for the second image. I'm gonna select that text right there and hit my backspace button. You'll see those single quotation marks are still there. Those are pretty important. I'll click manage custom files, and then click on that second image, and now it's in there. However, nothing's happening on our site because we haven't actually placed that code on our site yet. I'm gonna go ahead and click Save so my work stays where it is, and I'll select Edit up here on the left-hand side so we can add our code to actually place those images on the site. So I'm gonna click this little droplet, and I'm just gonna type the text code so we can easily add a code block. Now again, this code block has uh, two angled carrots here, so I've got this uh, a link to this code in the description of the video, but hopefully you can see this. It has div ID equals, and then the name of our code, and then followed by div, kind of closing our brackets there. So I'll go ahead and select apply, and we'll see the first image is already showing up. Pretty awesome, right? Now we'll select save, and as soon as it reloads, you'll notice we're getting that image hover effect right there. Isn't that awesome? Now I'd like to show you one more little nuance here. When I click on the mobile device preview, you'll see it's actually shrunk down a lot smaller than it was. That's because I set the image size to 20 view width and 20 view width for the height as well. So it stays that perfect square, but it'll resize with the screen. If you want it to be a lot bigger, you can set it to 200 pixels or whatever you'd like. Let me type that in there. So now the image is going to be the same size on mobile and the same size on desktop. So just an important thing to note, you can change the height and the width to either a view width or a percentage or a pixel, whatever value measurement you'd like to use there. But again, uh, those are the three steps for this code. You upload the two images to your custom files section. You add the code to CSS, replacing the first image URL and second image URL with the image URL. And then you paste the div code inside the actual page itself. And that's it for this tutorial. I know it sounded a little complicated, but as you see, we did this in, I think, under four minutes, so it's a pretty quick one. Again, the codes are available on my site, link in the description beneath the video. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you, James, for suggesting this tutorial. Have a great day, everyone, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. 
Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.